Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about why, you know, just eating clean isn't going to be the end all be all and why to really start focusing on eating for your hormones, your cycle, your, um, your, your body, right? Your, your physiology, connecting with how your body works and functions and how that's going to give you a completely different result and a result that you keep. A lot of times when I talk to women, uh, you know, and these are women all over the world, all over the world, and they're like, I, I just don't understand. I'm doing this and that, and my body's not responding, or something is off, something's wrong with me. I went in and I got this blood test, and it was normal, but I don't feel normal. What the heck? And what's going on is that your body starts to function differently. Stress is a huge impact, right? Uh, all different types of stress. If you've had kids, if you've been on birth control, like there's all these different factors that can go in, toxins that we're exposed to, affect how our system functions. So if we're ignoring how our system is functioning, we're just trying to work on all this other stuff. I mean, it's like, what are you doing, right? <laughs> right? You're not actually dealing with the issue and starting with the foundation which is looking at how your body works and functions. All the things that I teach women are about body physiology first. Body physiology first, and then aligning your lifestyle with that. It's, it's, it's just as simple as that. Um, these are things that I talk about in my book, The Female Fat Solution. Uh, this is on Amazon. I talk about how to match your nutrition to your hormones and your cycle. Whew, so much good info there. But really, a lot of the things that women struggle with are these. This is actually... Um, somebody I talked to the other day. This is the gal I talked to the other day. I'm not going to tell you her name, but we were chatting and she's like, listen, I, I have been in for, I don't know, a handful of thyroid tests over the past decade because I keep thinking that there's got to be my thyroid and my thyroid numbers, you know, they, they're testing one number by the way, like just TSH, which oftentimes isn't a complete picture, but that's a story for another day. But that's coming back normal, but I still feel like everything I'm looking at or everything I read about for thyroid, this is me. Uh, what? Okay, but also my hair is falling out. Is that a problem? Like I'm really starting to lose more hair recently. And I'm like, okay, well how, how long has this been really going on? You know, I, I've been struggling for a while it feels like, but really about a year and a half ago, it was about a year and a half ago. You know, I, I was going through this messy divorce and, and other things were going on. <clears throat> um, stuff happened with my job and she was like, since, you know, all the COVID stuff, she's like, it's been okay, but I feel like it's gotten a little bit worse even and I really can't turn it around. But about a year and a half ago, I really started trying to turn this around and nothing is happening. About a year and a half ago, I realized, yeah, my hair is really starting to fall out. I got my thyroid tested again and it came back normal. Ugh. Also, I have no libido. No libido. Women, you should have a libido. You should have a sex drive. If you do not, that's a problem. That's a problem. And so many women I chat with, they're almost embarrassed to talk about it. Be like, yeah, I don't know where it went, but I don't have one. <laughs> you should have one. You should. That's a healthy, normal, functional process for your body. Yeah. And that's an indicator that things are off in your, in your hormones. There's a lot of reasons this could be off, but this is a, this is a big one. And oftentimes they're like embarrassed or feel bad or feel shameful about it. Right. To, to, you know, they're feeling like, Oh, I don't know, but I guess, you know, do I really need to complain about that as much? Da, da, da. No, it is a big deal. It is a big deal. This tells me how well your body is functioning. And if you don't have a libido, yeah, that's a problem, right? So hair loss, libido, fatigue. Oh, the fatigue that we're talking about. It's like, okay, I, I do okay in the morning, but by the afternoon, I really start to crash. And then I, you know, I struggle and I start getting crabby and snappy at the kids by the end of the day because I'm so tired. I don't like that. And I've been trying to work on that, like trying to work on my mood. And I'm like, yeah, but you're exhausted. <laughs> Your body's so fatigued. So how, you know, it's not a matter of like willpower, you know, push through it. No, no. Right, something else is going on in your system. Having other body aches, right? These are other things that we talked about. Um, along with that, you know, along with the fatigue came, uh, I, yeah, I can't work out like I normally do. There's also other gut issues, things like that, that, would, that were popping up, lots of bloat. The plateaued weight and being over 20 pounds overweight. Like, okay, so I've been really trying since last year, last year and a half ago, really trying, like 
sticking to eating super clean, eating only salads, really cutting my calories, and I'm getting only more fatigued, that's been getting worse. And I've, I've lost some weight. I lost maybe between five and 10 pounds, but I'm not losing any more. And I, no matter what I do, even if I do crazy stuff, nothing happens. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a hormonal issue. This is your hormones are up. This is not even getting into the, you know, the PMS issues or the big mood swing issues that she was having. Cause once we got into that talking about, okay, yep. So, you know, along with the libido, things like that, any other shift or change throughout the month. Yep. Some PMS issues, right? Then there's other, um, you know, uh, the mood swings that adds to the fatigue and snappy snapping at the kids. So really when it comes down to it, a lot of times women will think, "Ugh, I can't fit into my pants or I've gained weight. This is a problem. But when we're looking at your body and your hormones, it's more than just about fitting into a pair of pants. What I teach women how to do is eat for your hormones in your cycle and really get your body back on track. And I don't want to say just get your body back, but get you a healthy functioning body so you feel good in it. And then the weight loss part of it is essentially a side effect from your healthy well-functioning body, right? So a lot of things that shift and change for women is it's not just about, oh, my, you know, oh, look, I fit into these pants, yay. I mean, you can fit into these pants all day long, you know, but if you're feeling exhausted and your hair is falling out and you don't have a libido and you're so fatigued by the end of the day, you're snapping at everybody in your house, are you any happier that way? No, no, because how many times have you done a diet before that that exact same thing happened. Yeah, right? How many of you have done that? Where you're like, yeah, I did this thing and yeah, I lost some weight, but couldn't keep it off, couldn't stay there because what you had to do to get there was not reasonable to maintain or keep up with. All these things then really exist still. All these things exist except for maybe this thing, right? You took care of one of the things. That's, that's almost unfair right? That's almost unfair. And it's because women are following plans, programs, protocols that are made for the male body to be successful. And what I do in the 12 week challenge is so much more. What we work on in the 12 week challenge is so much more. So you're going to learn how to eat clean, right? Eat clean for your body, what your system needs, right? And this is inclusive of all different types of bodies, right? Uh, different backgrounds, you know, women from all over the world benefiting from this. And how is it, you know, it's tweaked and tailored for you. So I'll get into that in, in a minute about how it's tailored for you. But I teach you how to eat for your nutrition and hormones. You know, stuff I talk about in my book, stuff I talk about on my YouTube channel, which is just Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that. So I talk about a lot of, I have a ton of archive videos there. We go through protein pacing. Protein is the number one nutrient for metabolism. Yeah, so if you're not getting enough protein in, your metabolism is just not going to, that dial is not going to turn up. It's not going to work harder for you. We go through carb cycling, different carb cycling patterns. We go through fasting, intermittent fasting for women, for the female body, because most women are fasting in a way, in a fashion that the male body really benefits from, but it's harder on the female system if we do it that way. So I take you through how to do that for women. And then it's tailored for you. So I have a, I'm going to put the wait list in here right now, you guys. If you guys are not on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge, registration opens up next Friday. The only way you can get a link for registration is on the wait list. So that's why you should click and get on the wait list now. Because this is entirely tailored for you. I have a conversation with you. We go through all of these things. So here's an example of things that are going to be important for you to realize and understand. And again, if you are from a certain background or have certain traumas, we talk about that. That's important, right? I am here to support you in what way that you need. So it's really essential if we talk about some thyroid issues and you're like, God, I feel like I have all these thyroid symptoms and I've had it for a long time, but my blood test is normal. I don't know. I said, okay, we are going to go through and just start tweaking your nutrition around things that are helpful for the thyroid. Yeah. And a lot of times that inflammation plays a role in that too. Hair loss, libido, fatigue, right? Some of that can be testosterone levels. So a lot of times we'll add in or tweak things to help your testosterone levels, right? Using whole food nutrition, really easy to do. The fatigue, aches, right? A lot of this can have um, impact, you know, with your cortisol levels. So we work on stress, cortisol levels. 
and then the weight piece of it. Besides just the hormonal piece related to your cycle, we're gonna be wor working with your nutrition with all of these tactics and what works for you best. There's someone that I work with where I'm like, okay, your body's at a point where you're so exhausted and fatigued, please do not do any fasting at first. Like we have to hold off on it because their body's not ready. So it's really important you're getting the right next step for you. And if you're not sure what that is, get on the wait list in the comments. And the other thing we go over is exercise recommendations, right? There's also, you know, coaching calls. I do one-on-one -on -one calls with you. There's group coaching calls. We talk about mindset shifts and changes. There's so much material, right? A lot of material, like videos, um, <laughs> text message reminders, all of these things to help support you through this journey. Because this is a journey that can be completely life-changing. Again, really working with your foundation to build you to a better place to sustain it. My goal here is to educate and empower women on how their bodies work and function so you can make the best choices for you moving forward to not only get a better result, but keep it easily and integrate this into a lifestyle that you don't have to fight with anymore. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Remember, waitlist is in the comments. Um, the other resource I have for you besides my book and besides my YouTube channel is my podcast, which is called The Female Health Solution. That's on All Places Podcast. Um, so if you have any other questions or if you need any other resources, please don't hesitate to reach out. I am here for you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.